Assalamu alaikum. I got my brother <coughs> Abdullah Anderson. Assalamu alaikum, bro. Alaykum, salam, alaykum, salam, alaykum. So, bro, mm -hmm. just want to tell all of YouTube how you came to Islam. Alright. How I came to Islam? Yeah, because it wasn't just uh, on the streets, was it? No, no, no. What happened? Um, I was 16 years of age in HMP Hindley. It's, yeah. um, it's a young offences institution. Yeah. I was wrongly accused of a crime I didn't commit. Honestly, That's what I they asked. I, I, I didn't do it. No, to cut a long story short. I nearly became a Mormon. But you before. didn't do it, did you? Uh, no, no, my friend did. Well, he wasn't my friend. He befriended me. Yeah. In a very bad way. But anyway, <laughs> listen. But thanks, it's thanks to him, I suppose. You know, I nearly yeah. became a Mormon just before I went to prison. Yeah. And anyway, I went, I went to prison. I'd never heard of Islam before. And I met um, a lad. I won't say his name, but he was from Cheetah Mill. He was an armed robber, really nice guy. Um, bloody green. <laughs> <laughs> he was a top guy, you know what I mean? Well, so, he was an um, armed robber, yeah? Yeah, he was an armed robber. Well, was he? Was, he? Yeah. Right. Pakistani. He had like bluey green eyes, you know what I mean? Anyway, so anyway, like he was asking me, you know, why I'm a Christian, and I told him, and he said, You've heard of Islam? So I said, No, I've not heard of Islam before. So I thought I'd have a look at it. I went down, you know, the, um, the, the mosque in the prison. Yeah. You know what I mean? A prison within a prison, it is kind of, yeah? yeah. I went in there and I thought, Oh my gosh, I've seen them, you know, bending over like that. <laughs> and I thought, no, no, I'm not doing that, you know? So anyway, a couple of weeks went by, and I was a believer in God anyway. I always prayed, you know, most of my life from the age of six or seven years of age. So um, I, took, I became a Muslim ever. I sat on my bed, and um, I realised Islam was true. So I, be, I didn't know how to take the shahada enough, and there was nobody there to teach me none of that. So I did it, I did it, I did it myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> sat, there, sat there on me, but it was at yeah. night. I remember it. It was at night. It was on A wing as well. Yeah. And like, um, anyway, so I became Muslim and I got loads of trouble. You know, I had all the lads there saying, you know, you know, because they're not educated enough, saying things like, why do you want, why do you want why people to Pakistani? Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. Why this and that? And the, the prison officers, they weren't too happy about it. They didn't want me to go to the uh, the jum or anything, so they were locking me door. I was only 16, 17, like I said at the time. So they and stopped they, you going jumping? Yeah, they tried to stop me, yeah. They, they didn't want me to go. They used to call out for the jumper. They used to have like a list of people going to jumper. Yeah. And they called me out. And when they called me out, Anderson! <laughs> Get out, Anderson, you're not going, you know. They tried to even evict the prison imam from, the, from the prison too, yeah, yeah. They tried to say that he was trying to um, force me into it. Yeah. Because they knew that I was very religious because every, every Sunday I would go to the chapel, you know, mm do the prayers, I would be always the one with his hand up, you know, and the questions were being asked from the little priest guy, yeah. like, eh. you know, <laughs> <laughs> he was, I was always the one that, I, yeah. so when I was gone, they noticed it, you know, yeah. so they come to me, pad, try to talk me out of it, you know, he sat me there and he told me that, you know, yeah. <laughs> it come to near Ramadan, it was near Ramadan, yeah. and there was a lad in there from round long site, and like, I didn't know how to pray, so he told me about my prayers, I always believed in the concept of one God, I always, you know, when the Mormons, when I nearly become a Mormon, they were always telling me to go to my window like I did every night and pray and ask them to see, is the Mormon religion the correct one? And I kept doing it and doing it and doing it and I got nothing. Yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I got nothing, yeah. you know? So it was a week, it was two weeks after. They yeah. was gonna, they were back, they were going to baptise me. They had, they had, they had the, the, the water ready, all the people ready. It was near Stretford. Yeah. They had everything ready, all set up. So we've gone away. Well, it was that week that I went to prison for this, right. for this crime anyway. So you sort of got so, saved from Yeah, that. that's what I mean. I lost everything. I lost my missus, my gaff. I lost everything. I had nothing. No visits, no postal orders, nothing. The way you guys people are, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to go through a bit of strain and stress. you the other side shining, you know? Yeah. So this guy taught me how to pray. And I remember I used to, I used to, I wrote it on a piece of paper in the English meaning underneath. I used to wrap it round my wrist like that and take me about <laughs> half an hour naked. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, then what I used to do was, I used to, you didn't, I didn't have a watch or anything like that. You know, yeah. the morning prayer, I just yeah, yeah. knew it was before the light. Yeah. So I used to get up and when you press the taps on the, in the cell that I was in, you used to go, mm -hmm. it to you. all the way down the landing. You know what I mean? I'm there. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, who's that? You know, I won't say what they said, but they said some pretty nasty things, you know. Like, they're going to kill you, bro. But I realised, you know, because it was dark and I didn't have my light on, they didn't know who it was. So, mm, back on with it, making the wudu, putting my feet in the sink, nearly slipping on the floor. And everything. <laughs> funny, you know. You know, what yeah. did you know? And I noticed that when I become Muslim, my prayers were being answered, it was mad. 
You see, yeah. all my life, I used to, like I said, I used to pray from five, six, seven yeah. every night. I must have missed two in my whole life. Yeah. I used to walk into churches when I was 14, 15, you know, looking yeah. for something. I didn't know what I was looking for until I got a bit older, you know. Yeah. I was looking, that's why I nearly became a Mormon, you know, because I thought, ah, oh, it's that way. You see, I believed in God, but I didn't have a way to follow. No one taught me about religion. Yeah. Not my mother, my father. I grew up in most foster homes, children's homes. So yeah. I was just a natural believer. I used, to, I used to carry two Bibles in my pocket. I had the for Psalms in that one, a red one, yeah. and I had the... Um, the New Testament in the other one. Yeah. I don't know why. And now you, now you cycle around the uh, moss side giving yeah. Dower on your <laughs> yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah, Dower <laughs> on my bike. Because yeah. I ride a bike everywhere I go. I love riding bikes, you know. Yeah, it's good. So, like, um, in, well, anyway, in prison, you know, when I, when I became Muslim, I noticed things change. I mean, I'm not, I'm, people probably say that. Oh, have you heard this guy? He thinks if you become a Muslim, everything's going to be bright and shiny. And there's something just... You know, John, yeah, some, yeah. something just happens inside something you, you right, know? Right, yeah. Something goes click in your mind, yeah. and you can't switch that switch off, mm. not knowingly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know when, you, when, you, when you're becoming ignorant again. You know, you, you start, you, things have changed. But when I became Muslim, I noticed my prayers were being answered, for example. Like when I was, instead of mentioning Jesus in my prayers, I used to pray like this, and I used to talk to God. I used to start every prayer saying, Dear God, and dear the Lord Jesus. I did mm. that from being a kid. I, I realised what my purpose to life was, from a young age, yeah. but I didn't know it spot on. Do you understand yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I was yeah. searching for something, I was looking for a way. There was a purpose. I knew there was a reason for me being here, and I knew that mm. he was there. You know, because I knew something used to protect me when I was a kid from a lot of mm. bad yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah. He used to be, he was very protecting me. I could, when I look back at that, it was him who got me out of all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. him who got me away from this and got me away from yeah. that. You know, and when I, so, but when I used to pray to God, just to Allah, it was amazing. Yeah. It was, I was expecting 14, 15 years, for example. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Prison, yeah. I thought there was no way that I'm going to get away from this, and he's going to carry on saying it was me, and accusing me for it, and all the evidence was pointed in my way. Yeah. And um, we was in the dock, we was in the dock, and um, I remember saying to myself, when they put us downstairs in this little chamber, I thought, I, just, I, I got confused for a minute, I thought, I wanted to pray, but I really wanted him to listen. So I thought, do I, do I go back to my old way and pray to Jesus and God? Or do I pray? Well, I ended up doing two rakats, you know, two. I yeah. pray, I did, I did it like and that. this is before you was introduced to Islam? This is why... Oh, this, this is while this, you was this, on this, trial, this yeah. Is while, this is, yeah, this is while I was, this is when I was thinking about which way to go. Yeah. You see, when I was told about the Mormonism, I got excited. I yeah. thought, oh, this is the one. Yeah. Maybe I've got... So when he was telling me to go, oh, I, I was going to my window with sheer conviction. Yeah. And so I, what happened when you was praying the two rakats? When I prayed the two rakats, we got this plea, we went back in the things and they come out with a plea bargain and dropped the crown down to a crown that made it from like nearly a life sentence because arson was intent to endanger life. Yeah. It's a very big charge. Yeah. And they dropped it down. <laughs> they dropped it down. Sorry, not a fire starter. Look at <laughs> fire starter. That's what they're thinking now. But, you know, they dropped it down to a much lesser crown. Yeah, alhamdulillah. And uh, so, we, you know, we, have to, we both took this plea bargain. Yeah. But then when they was going to sentence us, you know, I mean, I even wrote a letter like that to the judge about that thick, you know what I mean? He probably didn't read it. He's like, what's this? <laughs> but anyway, you know, like I said, I, we, went, we went, went downstairs and I did the prayer and we come out and then we both thought we was going to get four years each, but the judge gave us two years each That's and I only had, I spent like eight and a half months on remand. Yeah. And I remember when I went away, I just thought, oh my gosh. You know, I asked a lot. I, yeah. I, 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 instead of doing that way, I, and both, two things really happened big for me. You, know, you knew that was a direct thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, like. yeah. And, and then when I went back and I started praying more to him, you see, I used to, I used to be one of them... I'm going to advise this to everyone, but only jail can do it for people like me. <laughs> Not anymore. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, what it is, is you, you've got to sit and think a lot. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't, you can't be walking around with a busy life trying to get the way right. You've got to make time for yourself. You've got to make time for yourself. And the way I did it was I used to spend a lot of time just staring out the window. Mm. And I used to see, I mean, I've met people that I've never see seen a shooting with. star, yeah. <laughs> I, and and I, I've seen so many shooting stars. I know it sounds like this, this guy's seen <laughs> shooting stars. Wait, there must be only one gone. No, but, you know, I've seen <laughs> shooting stars. I used to see the most amazing weather. And I used to pray. And I used to ask. And I noticed my prayers become longer and oh. longer. And in the end, I would cover so many different subjects. Yeah. And then after what it is, what, what, when, you, when you do, you start feeling this bond. You know, yeah. it's like, Mashallah. you do get this bond feeling, yeah. you know. And I was asking, and it was mad. When I talked to him, 
It was like, I'd go out, I'd, when I got out of prison, for example, and I used to pray, that day, Allah would lead me to resolve that problem yeah. and how to get out of it. Yeah. Or someone would be there that could help me out. And do Tell us about that day you started work and you got in the van. Oh, Ibrahim. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've got a brother from Old Trafford, a really good guy. He's a painter and decorator. First guy I met was Muslim. I couldn't believe it when he gave me a hug when I come out. You know, when I met him, yeah, yeah. he gave me a hug. I know. I kind of thought, wow, it's a man hugging me, you know, a big man as well. It's like, all right, okay. Yeah, so I had the hug anyway. I was, I was helping him out with a bit of work years ago. And um, I didn't know this, but for two years, you know, I used to... I, anyway, I come downstairs and I was late and he said, where have you been? I said, oh, I just got a shower, said my prayers and got dressed and I'll just come out after my breakfast and come out. He said... Say that again. <laughs> so I said, just had a shower, done my prayers, got dressed and come out. He said, did you do the prayer before you got dressed? And I said, he started smashing his head into his, into his um, steering wheel. Because, yeah, I used laughing to have... Yeah, I laughed in his head off. I used to shower five times a day. <laughs> I used to have five showers a day. And then, and then I used to pray naked, yeah. I used to pray naked and I didn't know. You didn't know. I thought it was your natural form. You know? I, thought, I thought nature and all that. I didn't, I didn't think of the other things, you know. So um, it, it's interesting because when when people come to Islam, they don't know. Yeah, they, they don't, don't know, know anything, you know. So, subhanallah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, jazakallah.